Live at the Broadband World Forum 2016 at the Excel Centre in London. I'm here with Jose Luis from Telefonica. Jose Luis, good to meet you. Good to meet you, Ray. So you're here at the event um, discussing the, the fibre to the home uh, market in Spain. Yeah. Um, how has that been evolving in the last couple of years? What kind of developments have there been in Spain? Quite dynamic. Uh, we are a number of operators uh, rolling out FTTH networks. Okay. Um, currently, around 30% of all the access, uh, broadband access in, in Spain are made with fiber. Okay. And we from Telefonica represent around two thirds of that 30%. Okay. For a total of around 20%. Of, of access with FTTH, of customers with FTTH. Okay. So quite di dynamic, the, the market. Okay, and are there particular drivers for the, the push towards taking fiber all the way to the premises? Is it uh, competitive or is there, is, is there, have the regulate, has the la regulatory environment improved in recent years? Or is it simply a case of this is the strategy for future-proofing the network? A mix of of the third and the and the first of, of your of your uh, reasons, okay. um, we need to improve the, the the bandwidth for for our customers. We we are involved in in enhancing all the services, including IPTV, and and what we see is that the 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 single way to do that is using FTP8. Oh, okay. So that provides the kind of the quality of service needed for applications yeah, such as video? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay. And is there a particular technology strategy that Telefonica is adopting? Is it, are you using a GPON technology to take fibre to, to the home? Yes, we are using GPON. We are okay. using GPON. Yeah, okay. from, from the beginning we started with, with GPON and it is uh, working properly, it is working well and and we are, of course, uh, looking at uh, how the, the, the technology evolves and, and, and analyzing which are the future for, for GPON. We are involved currently in that and, and we will see. Okay, so you're looking at XGS PON and yeah. NG PON 2 as potential future technologies? Yeah, yeah. it seems to be the, the, the right way to, to go ahead uh, with XGS PON and and who knows in the future if, if we change it until, yeah. Okay. And are there any particular strategic drivers um, uh, for Telefonica around the, the future need for, for business services and backhaul for 5G that's driving some of the, the fiber rollout? That is our feeling that uh, uh, we may need uh, enhanced bandwidth and symmetrical uh, so, uh, services like like the ones you have mentioned. I mean, uh, to use the DX GS pawn or whatever flavor of pawn for for 5G and um, for enterprises and so on. Okay, and are there any particular trends in, in services or applications that are particularly driving bandwidth demand from consumers? Is it mainly video? That seems to be the the dominant uh, service that's uh, putting pressure on the network. Uh, of course, you you have to 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 be able to to offer a minimum bandwidth for video. But what we see is that people may may feel better if they have instead of a hundred megs, three hundred megs. Okay. And who knows in the future? This is something like uh, the more you have the better you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Everybody wants more as long as they yeah. don't have to pay an awful lot more for the, the, it. But the okay. problem is that they do not want to pay more yeah. just <laughs> for free. So. Okay, well I'm sure that bandwidth will be supporting a lot more revenue generating services oh, hope, for, for telephone in the future. Hope. So, Jose Luis, thank you very thank much you for much, speaking Ray. to us today. Thank you very thank much. You.